What's up everyone? I hope y'all are having an amazing day. Today, I messed up. I had been hanging out with Jaden and Beck all day. We were down in my basement playing COD pretty much from 4 to like midnight. We were just playing, having a really good time and just grinding out. We got a bunch of clips for fail to phase and a bunch of fails. But uh, I didn't really have a chance to make a video for today, so it is currently, let me show y'all, is currently 3, I'm not sure if you can see that, 3.05 in the morning of the day that you are seeing this. So I'm just going to talk about what's been going on with me the past couple days and what I've been doing. So what you've probably clicked on the video for, or you're just clicking on it to support me, which I love you, thank you. But uh, I had saw a video from Ali A a couple days ago where he had been talking about starting a series where he's gonna try to get a nuke on every game. And if that doesn't sound familiar to you, that is pretty much exactly what I'm doing in my series, Nuke to Nuclear. I'm getting a nuke in every game of COD that I've played and it's just I don't know I wouldn't say that he's like copying me per se it's pretty much the same like concept but like if you look on YouTube I started that series because I was like oh I don't see that on YouTube like people might go for nukes on MW3 or whatever but they aren't going from like COD to COD to COD getting a nuke kill streak and then Six days later, after I start my series, Ali A starts his, which he didn't, like, I'm not saying he copied me, like, I, I look up to Ali A, like, he has 8 million subscribers, he's such a huge influence on the community, but that's just really weird, and just, I guess, a, guess a coincidence, but, uh, so that was really weird, I saw that, I tweeted on, uh, my Twitter, I'm not sure if you guys follow me and all that, but that's in my description of every video. But uh, I just tweeted, I was like, wow, it's just so weird how Ali A starts a series basically with the same concept as mine six days after I start mine. And it wasn't really like taking a cut at Ali. It was more like if people come to my videos like and they see Nuke to Nuclear and they're like, oh, you're copying Ali because that's the same concept as his. Well, I had started mine six days before, so I'm not copying him. And even though I really look up to him, he's like a huge influence, but I, I started mine first. But, uh, so this weekend, it was a three day weekend. Been having a lot of fun lately. FaZe played in the ESWC tournament and I woke up at, well, I didn't go to sleep last night. I just stayed up and then watched FaZe play at 5 a.m. versus Optic in the winner's winner bracket final. And they lost, so then they went to the losers round, and they then won that. And then they went to the grand finals, which was at noon, and I watched that, and they got 3-0. So I was not happy about that, but, you know, it's whatever. But that was kind of disappointing. You know, FaZe had had this huge run against Optic. I'm not sure if any of y'all pay attention to competitive Call of Duty, but I really like, like watching that type of stuff. I like supporting FaZe and just, I enjoy watching that, especially when they're facing Optic, just cause they're two huge, like, just two huge businesses. And when they go up together, it's just, it's always just a great, a great match because all the fans are getting so hyped. They're like green wall and the other people like phase up and they get all mad at each other. It's hilarious. But FaZe had had a win streak against Optic on land for a while and now they've lost back-to-back -back tournaments versus them so you know that's not very good i mean i'm okay with optic i watch scump and I, like he makes good content i like watching him and i watch hex sometimes but uh i'm i'm a phase fan so i'm always supporting the phase guys phase up all that so that was kind of disappointing and then so the day after i watched that which was i guess yesterday if you're watching this video uh, Jaden had come over and we are do we had done a PS4 like LAN party type thing. It was me, him, and Beck, and we put all of our PS4s in my basement, and we're just playing COD and having a good time. And Brayden, Norway Destroyer, I kind of I mentioned him in the 
my clan video and thank you i think the my clan video has like 32 views so if you watch that thank you so much that's awesome that's my most viewed video so far but Braden had gotten on and he doesn't get on that often but i had a lot of fun playing with him and he just like said he wasn't really happy about how i talked to how i talked about him in my video but you know i think he might be getting on more than usual and we had we had done a 2v2 like me and Jaden versus Braden and uh, Beck in like COD 4 Remastered and that was a lot of fun so I'm probably going to be making a video with Braden soon and introduce you to him because that's just something I want to do and I think it would be a super fun video like I had so much fun we were doing a 2v2 it was like we did 2v2 Hardpoint, 2v2 SND, 2v2 just everything and I had such a blast it was such a fun time super competitive it was kind of like what rain did with uh lucas and uh alex and apex they had all like done a 2v2 um i think it was like mom warfare 2 and black ops 2 so i thought i had a lot of fun doing that and so we're probably going to do that some or something like that in the near future and i'm looking forward to that and then we had just like had a lot of fun doing that and then we we're playing cod for a while um i don't know if i should give this hint but I hit a good clip that I am super excited to show on Friday. Really looking forward to that. But uh, so we have been playing COD all day. And then Jaden and I and Beck, we all went to this place called Insomnia Cookies. And they make such good cookies. It was awesome. And they were just super like gooey and just out of the oven. And they had ice cream with it. It was so good. And while I was there, I got a pretty funny Snapchat of Buck getting scared by Jaden. So I'll probably put that right here. But that was super funny. I thought that was hilarious. And then Jaden had gone home because he got baseball tomorrow and all that. And then I still need to make this video. And whoa, this guy. Who is alive? Oh, I guess he died. But, um, then Joe got on, and it's just been a good weekend. We had a three-day weekend. Monday was President's Day, so get one more day, and then we got school on Tuesday. And I'm not the biggest fan of school, just because I'd rather be sleeping in and gaming rather than that. I mean, I do good in school. It's just not a big fan. But So, yeah, that was a rundown of my past couple of days and just some, I guess, important events from them. I don't know. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and just telling you guys about my weekend and I'll probably vlog I'm my mom got me a little like tripod thing that I can put like my phone on like you know how the like big youtubers and vloggers they have like that bendable like tripod thing well my mom got like a mini one that I can put my phone on so if I ever vlog I'll be using that and I probably will me and Jaden and Beck if we ever go do something and when I go up to Illinois and like visit all my friends like Joe and Michael and Braden and all them, I'll be using that and I'll be vlogging and stuff, but just an exciting future. It's been a week on YouTube. I'm having a blast. I'm just super excited for the future and I'm having such a fun time. You know, if people give me a hard time about YouTube, I, I don't care. I'm having such a blast and I'm so excited for the future and just everything that's gonna be coming. And so, just thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. See ya.